Welcome back to the Malencam workshop uh, in our facility here in Ottawa. We're going to discuss with you today how to do some preventive maintenance on your camera. And today I've got a PL259 connector here to show you. And the reason I use this connector is because it's bigger, easier to show you. We've got some white powder on there forming with time and this is caused by humidity in the air. Anytime there's a voltage present, you're going to have this sort of residue form and it causes resistance. Actually, anywhere where there's RF uh, involved, this white residue turns into a diode actually. And this is the effect we're going to get is line, static and background. This guy's pretty bad. We've got another one here, the different we get to see the center pin connector here has quite a lot of residue on here and we're going to need to uh, clean that up somehow and in this case uh, it's not going to require cleaning if you don't do this type of maintenance i'm going to show you what's going to happen with time here's a really bad weatherized pl259 you got green stuff on it white from the salt from air humidity and basically this is unusable anymore the same thing's going to happen to your video camera connectors. Here's a brand new BNC connector that would normally fit. Here, I've got a, a Malin Cam signature here to show you. And you're going to fit this unit in here. And obviously, uh, we got a nice tight fit. But this being outside will cause a corrosion you cannot even see to the naked eye even if you use a magnifier you still got resistance wiggling the cable a little bit or even the socket it's going to do some some ghosting image uh, you're going to get some herring bones you're going to get all kinds of static running into your screen live and you're wondering what the heck is going on same apply for hdmi okay i'm going to show you how we're going to do this first of all get yourself this stuff is called Permatex and it is dielectric grease. It's available on Amazon. Uh, in Canada, it's available at CarQuest or just about any automotive uh, supply store. And the stuff has got to be a certain color and a certain type. And this stuff really works good for voltage. And this is what we want. And how do you prevent this? Very easy. When you open it, you're going to have this gel that is clear or more or less clear. And what you want to do is use your camera, apply some of it right in it, like so. Same thing on the 12 volt because that will also give you a bad connection. All right. And the same thing here. All right, we just apply a little bit of it. And what's going to happen is once you connect your PL2, your um, BNC connector, you're going to feel a very, very nice contact in there. Now, we just don't need this on the center. As you can see now, that stuff is all inside on the center conductor. But you also need it on the outside. And for this connector, what I mean by the outside is on the ground part. This is what you want to do. And again, apply. And as you screw on to the camera, it's going to spread all over and it will prevent corrosion for quite some time. Just carry a tube with you once in a while to lubricate it with this dielectric grease. This is the best thing that you could do for your camera system because you are outdoors and outdoors you've got a lot of humidity. And this white powdery corrosion will be formed. Okay, it leaves a little bit of a mess. Yes, you could always remove the excess a little bit. As long as your connector has it, that's what you want. Now, it's the same thing It's going to apply on the power here. We're going to... There you go. And this is the stuff you want to see right now. Now, is this possible to use on a USB camera? Well, of course. Here we have the uh, upcoming... Malin Cam uh, Sky Raider uh, SLP, and you can do the exact same thing. You've got your USB connector, and what we want to do is apply a little bit. You can always remove the excess, and once you apply that, and as soon as you're going to connect the plug on it, 
it will spread through to contact and you're going to be protected for quite some time. This is the preventive that you need to do, preventive maintenance you need to do to your camera system when they are used outside. And if you're inside of an observatory, like I am, for an example, for the past three years, you should see my cables being all corroded. But where there's uh, the dielectric grease, we have no issues whatsoever. The contact's still being made very well, and we've got no corrosion issues. So no static, no double lines, no funny-looking stuff happening on your image. So this is a must. Again, this is the stuff that uh, we want to get. It is available to a lot of places. I know Amazon has it and uh, I highly recommend this. This is what we use here. So it's dielectric tune-up grease that they call it, but actually it's dielectric grease and that's got to be the clear stuff. I have seen some with different color configuration used, the clear stuff. This is what you want. And once you've done that, you're going to make your PL, your uh, BNC uh, connectors and you're going to make all of those video cables last much, much, much longer for you. And it's going to reduce the level of frustration when it's time to set up uh, at your favorite observing location. So you got to uh, uh, treat all electrical connection with that stuff. Hopefully this uh, segment has helped you on how to do things. It's very simple to use. And... Um, a little bit of maintenance goes a long way. It'll make your equipment last much, much longer. Thank you for watching.